to share a lesson I learned from him. It was 2008. The Redeem team was formed. And we were in Vegas for the start of training camp, and we were getting ready for the Olympics in Beijing. We're going to head to Beijing. And I wanted to establish myself as a young leader on the team by waking up bright and early, day one. So the goal was to be the first one at breakfast. So I set my alarm. I make sure I'm up by sunrise. I get out of bed. I put on my gear, and I head downstairs. But when I get there, Kobe's already there with ice packs on his knees, drenched in sweat. Now, it took me a minute to figure it out, but this guy wasn't only awake before me. He had already worked out. He had just played in the finals days earlier. Meanwhile, I'd been off for months and I was still exhausted. That dedication he had only days after falling short of an NBA championship. That taught me something I've never forgotten. Legends aren't defined by their successes. They're defined by how they bounce back from their failures. And that's what I hope to communicate to anyone watching this, especially the kids. And I was still exhausted. Because in a way, that's the lesson I've been learning my whole life. It's what I was talking to Gino about in high school. It's what I learned from Kobe at the Olympics. It's what Adrian reminded me of after that visit to the doctor. And you know what? It's come true. And I'd like to think that all of those tears for me crying after a pickup game in Hutchins, Texas, at Highland Hills Recreation Center on Saturday after my dad would pick me up from open gym, The tears on that Laker jersey after the kids made fun of me. The tears on national TV after losing that championship. The tears that came after not being able to play the game anymore. When a doctor told me I would have to choose between risking my life every time I stepped on the court or retiring from the game at age 31. You know, After working as hard as I could, the training, the practices, the weight sessions, the bus rides, the film, going back at night to work on my game, after finally making it to the mountaintop with so much more to do in my mind, so much more to prove, suddenly it all stopped. By now, I don't have to tell you that there were plenty of tears that day and in the days since. But in going through those crossroads, I eventually came to realize that we all have it in our power to make the most out of every day, despite what happens, to turn setbacks into strengths. Because in a way, they weren't endings, they were beginnings. They weren't moments that made me want to stop working. They were moments that made me want to work even harder. And when I think about it, they were more than tears. They were the water that made it possible for the seeds of greatness inside me to grow. And they're the reason that that little kid with those thin makeshift posters on the wall is standing in front of his heroes tonight as a member of the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell button for more updates.